Samantha, and I'm a student nurse from Shady Sox. Ugh! How many student nurses can there be on this unit in one day? Here's what Hannah offered for Oh, okay, thanks. Do you mind if I ask a couple questions about our patient? What is there to ask? Well, I see that our patient Kim has a full ACL tear, but it's not documented what could cause her injury. Who cares? You know, I really don't have time for this nonsense. Figure it out on your own. not go as planned during that interaction with Sam and the other nurses, Sarah and Charlotte. Let's talk about some things they could have done differently. When we first find Sam, she's having trouble interacting with Charlotte, the current nurse on duty. And Charlotte doesn't want to be bothered with Sam, so their interaction is minimal. Sam needs to employ the DESE script when she wants the nurse to change her behavior. Let's take a look at an interaction with, with the nurse using the DESE as he script. Describe the situation. Express your emotions. Specify the requested behavior and explain the consequences. First off, Sam forgot the two zero tolerance rules. It's essential to wash your hands when going in and out of the room as well as, well as using two a patient identifiers. Sam needs to make sure she remembers that next time. Next, Sam didn't successfully engage the patient in conversation nor demonstrate solar. Sam should have taken the time to shake the patient's hand as well as introduce herself and ask the patient what she wants to be called. It's also important to sit down when employing solar with the patient. It's important in making the patient feel comfortable. Sam also didn't take the time to get information about the patient's health history. When asking questions, she asked closed-ended questions, which provided no information further than what Sam asked. Sam needed to use open-ended questions to find out more about the patient. Now, let's try that again. Hi there again. I'm Samantha. I'm a student nurse at Shady Side School of Nursing. Do you mind if we talk about our conversation earlier? Yes, of course. I should probably apologize about the way I acted earlier. Yeah, well, we all have our days, but when you're rude to me and show no interest in the patient, I feel flustered, and then I become angry. I want to be able to communicate with you and effectively so that patient satisfaction is achieved. If you continue to act this way, I will definitely have to tell my clinical instructor. But if we can resolve this issue now, then I think we can build a great professional relationship. You're exactly right. Your assertive attitude shows that you're going to be a great nurse. Thank you. I appreciate that compliment. Aw, it's so nice to meet you on better terms this time. It is truly great that you're pursuing a nursing career. My name is Charlotte, by the way. That's awesome. So I looked in the handoff report you gave me earlier, and I see that you're caring for one of my patients that I'm assigned to today. Her name is Kim Smith. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about her after I do my 60-second assessment and interview with Kim? Actually, my shift is over, and I'm about to head home. Sarah is the on-duty nurse replacing me. If you have any questions, you can direct them to her. Do you need me to answer anything before I leave? No, that's okay. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to working you, with you in the future, Charlotte. I'll see you around the unit. See ya. Come in. Hi. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a student nurse at Shadyside. I just need to do a quick um, check of the room to check some safety things. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. And then after that, um, Kim, I'll be back to talk with you a little bit. Hi, 
Hi Mike. Um, upon inspection of the room, I noticed Kim's head roll was down, so I put it back up and I made sure the bed was locked and low. Her call bell's within reach near her neck. Um, her airway was clear and breathing as it should be. Circulation was normal and the color of her skin tone was fine. Um, the room was free of clutter and she had a clear path to the restroom. Um, she had no need for oxygen or IVs at this time. Sam, you're doing a great job. Uh, make sure you always take note of these same details every time you go into a patient's room. Uh, why don't you go visit Kim around uh, and report back to me around 1600. Okay, that sounds great. I'll see you in 1600 hours. Come in. Hi. Okay, Kim, I'm just going to take a minute and um, ask you some questions if that's okay. Do you mind if I have a seat? Sure. Um, are you comfortable right now? For the most part. Okay. What is it that brought you into the hospital? Um, well, I play soccer in college, and we were in the middle of a game, and I had the ball, and another girl from the opposite team collided with me as she was trying to steal the ball. I'm not too sure what exactly happened, but after the collision, I fell on the ground due to the extreme pain in my knee. My trainer came on the field and said I need to go to the hospital. That's how I ended up here. I'm sorry to hear that, Kim. What college do you attend? I attend the University of Pittsburgh. Oh, that's a great school. My brother attends Pitt as well at the Johnstown campus. What are you studying there? I'm studying social work. That's a very re rewarding field. Do you like your coursework so far? Yes. Okay. College is a big transition for some people, and I'm glad to see that your experience is going so well aside from your soccer injury. Um, how did they come to uh, the conclusion of an ACL tear? Early I went down for some tests. They did an MRI and that's what confirmed the tear. So do the doctors plan on doing surgery to repair the tear? Yes, but they haven't said a date yet. How are you managing your pain in the meantime? Pretty well. I'm taking some type of pain medication that is helping while I'm in the hospital. The nurse has been applying ice to my knee. That made the pain less as well. I'm glad your pain is being managed. Do you have any allergies? No. Oh. Yes, to some medications, actually. Okay. Um, what kind of medications and re reactions do you get from those? Um, just some swelling and oxycodone. Okay. They have on your chart here that you're allergic to penicillin and you get hives. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, that's good to know. I just have a few more questions. Are you um, able to talk to me for just a few more minutes? Sure, I don't mind. Okay. Um, are you taking any other medications at home besides what we gave you here? No, I'm not. Okay. Have you ever been hospitalized before? Yes, um, only once. When I first took penicillin, I got a fever in hives. My mother was worried and took me to the ER. I think I was seven years old at the time. Have you ever had any type of surgery before? Just my wife. Do you have any complications with that? No. Okay. Um, how are you feeling about the thought of having surgery? Um, I'm not very excited about it. That's, <clears throat> let's just say that. I'm actually somewhat nervous. If the doctors think it's necessary, then I might just go through with it. Unfortunately, with a torn ACL, that's usually the best thing to do. When I finish talking with you, would you like me to get your nurse to speak with you about the surgery and give you a little more information? It might make you feel less anxious. If you could do that, I would feel a lot better. Not a problem. Will you be recovering at home? Yes. Do you, does your home have stairs in it? Yes, it does. Two sets of five, actually. Where is your bedroom and bathroom located in your home? Mine is upstairs, but I plan on staying on my couch downstairs or in our spare room while I recover. And we have a bathroom on both levels. So you don't think that getting around will be a problem for you? No, okay. and my mother will be around to help me if I need anything. Okay, um, have you ever smoked in the past? No. Um, do you drink alcohol or do any drugs? No way. Good, don't start. Um, next, I need to get your family's past medical history. How old um, are your father and mother? My mother is 45, father is 46. Okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child. Okay. Does anyone else live with you in your home? No. Occasionally my aunt stays with us for a week at a time when she isn't traveling, but it's not very often. Okay. Are your grandparents still living? 
Yes, but they live in New England, and I don't see them very often. Okay, I just have to ask you some questions about your family medical history. I'm going to go over the list, so just let me know if there's anything. Um, heart disease, asthma, hypertension, obesity, stroke, alcoholism, diabetes, mental illness, cancer, kidney disease, arthritis, or a seizure disorder? No, I don't really think so. I can check. Do you mind if I take a look at your knee? No, go ahead. Are you having like, any pain right now? Actually, I'm very uncomfortable right now. I would rate my pain out of five. Okay, Kim. I'm going to get your nurse and tell her that you're experiencing some pain right now. Is there anything else I can get to get you before I leave? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, I hope you have a really full recovery and can get back out on the field soon. Me too. Hi, I'm working with Kim Smith in room 200. Her chief complaint is having moderate pain due to a torn ACL. Um, she's an 18 year old college student and um, she's on her school soccer team which is where she tore her ACL. Um, this is the first time she's had this type of injury um, and she's only been in the hospital once when she was seven. She had a reaction um, set on her chart. Um, after my assessment, it looks like she has some like swelling in her, in her right leg. Um, and she's complaining of a pain, a pain, severe pain in the leg. Okay. Um, I think we need to get a medical order or talk to the doctor to get some alternative pain medicine or maybe up her dosage. Would you be able to speak with him and do that for her? Yeah, that's great, Samantha. I talked to Kim earlier and I did notice the swelling that you spoke of. Um, and she also mentioned that she was in pain. I'll talk with the doctor and get the medicine ordered. Do you have any other questions in the meantime? Uh, yes, actually I do. Kim is feeling a little bit nervous about her surgery and it's the only surgery she's ever really had besides her wisdom teeth being taken out. So I was just wondering if you could go over some of the information about the surgery to make her feel a bit more comfortable or maybe even get the surgeon to talk with her a little bit because she's just a bit nervous. Yeah, I can definitely speak with her about her concerns. Do you have any other questions? No, thanks for all your help. I just wanted to recap that Kim needs for you to speak with her and have the doctor order her some pain medicines. Okay, no problem. Let me know if you or Kim need anything else. It was great meeting you. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. In this interaction, Sam demonstrated the zero tolerance rules, used the DESC script, engaged, in a, engaged the patient in a successful, informative conversation while asking open and closed-ended questions. Sam also made recommendations to the nurse of what she thought would benefit the patient. The conversation with the nurse was successful and concise using the S-bar method.